Hey guys, Utah Steve here, back for another video. This is take two of this video. I got a new GoPro knockoff in the mail, and the audio was so terrible after I recorded this video, I just couldn't put it online like that. It's just awful. So that will be strictly for video and montage purposes. Now, that's not why I'm here. I am here to talk about a better way to pack your clothes for a backpacking trip. This is something I discovered recently that's new to me. Maybe it's not new to you, but I think it's a really cool idea and I haven't seen any videos about it. Um, in the past, I packed my clothes in a Ziploc bag and sealed it up tight to make it compact and sort of vacuum sealed and put it in my pack. It worked okay for its purposes, but right now, um, I want to share with you this new idea I found that I really like. Now this isn't going to keep my clothes waterproof like a Ziploc would, but it's still a cool idea. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first of all, this works best with lightweight, moisture wicking type hiking clothes. I've got a moisture wicking shirt here. We'll just lay that out flat. Hopefully this shows up okay. So there you go, you just lay it out completely, just like your mama used to do. And you take your pants, now these are also some lightweight, moisture wicking, synthetic hiking pants. And I put the top of them at the top of the shirt so that they line up. Fold it in half this way, nice and flat, as flat as you can get it. And if you happen to wear boxers to go hiking in, just fold those up neatly right there on top of the pants. Now, you're probably wondering how does this save space in your backpack? You're going to need socks. These are thick, heavy, uh, wide socks that stretch easily. That's what you're going to need for this. Uh, regular socks won't cut it. First thing we're going to do is fold the shirt over neatly. And as flat as possible so that there's no bulk. Then we're going to lay our socks on it, the top like this so that the open end is facing out on both sides. Then we're going to roll it nice and tight. There we go. Now you'll have to excuse the uh, St. Bernard hair. Good old Bob, he goes everywhere with me. Oh boy. Open the sock, fold it over the end. There we go. Stretch it down. Take the other sock, do the same thing. And there you have it. A new change of clothes, including socks and underwear, all in one little handy, I don't want to say container, but all in one handy place. Now here's my hammock for comparison. My hammock is smaller, but as far as thickness goes, it's not a lot thicker, a little bit, but uh, these won't take up much space in your pack. When they're like this, put them down in like that. You can still, you know, seal it in a plastic of some kind to waterproof it if you want. Um, I'm not going to, but I thought this was a really cool idea and something I wanted to share. Now, you can also do this with your sleepwear, of course. My sleepwear that I take overnight with me is in the wash, so I'm gonna use this thermal cotton top, which is a little thicker and heavier than what I would use, but it'll work for our demonstration purposes. Same deal, we take our long underwear bottoms, fold them in half, lay them at the top, now this is a little more tricky to get it flat. You can create some bulk with these, depending on the kind you have, I guess. Uh, just get it as flat as you can, smooth it out. Of course, you're not gonna need underwear with underwear, so I'm not gonna add my sugar daddy or Tony the Tiger boxers to this. I'm gonna fold this over neatly, keeping that sleeve nice and Nice and smooth. Let's see. There we go. It's 
flat as I can get it. Now here's another one of those socks that I just wrapped these in. And I have a work boot sock here because apparently I have a matching pair going through the wash right now. So these don't stretch as well and it'll be it'll serve as a a good demonstration for why you need a certain kind of stretchable sock to do this. These do not stretch as far and it'll still work for our purposes here, but I certainly wouldn't hike in these. These are for my uh, duty boots and it's not quite the same as nice soft thick wool blend socks for hiking. So there we go. Here's our boot sock. We'll do that second. Let's do our hiking sock. Ah. Now I always bring a pair of socks just to sleep in that I didn't hike in that day. Just for comfort and warmth. There's nothing like a nice dry pair of socks to sleep in at the end of a long day. Okay. Now here's the crappy sock that we will try to stretch over this. Oh boy. The tablecloth's moving around, it's not making it easy for me. So you can see why a nice wide stretchable hiking sock would work. And something like this just doesn't quite cut it. Pretty handy. To have it all in one place without having to have a bag or anything like that you can waterproof it but it's up to you so there you go so there you have it guys a nice change of clothes for tomorrow a nice set of pjs for tonight and of course your hammock to sleep in just for size comparison now weight wise i'd say this weighs more just just going by feel which is a dumb way to go but this weighs more. And this is a pound, 1.6 something pounds. And so this is probably a pound, I'm thinking. A couple pounds here and a pound here. You're looking at three or four pounds for your clothes and your hammock. So that's pretty cool. Um, I just thought this idea was really neat and I thought I would share it with you. Feel free to comment down below any thoughts, comments, suggestions about this. Um, a lot of times people see stuff like this and they have even better ideas so i'm always open to that please be positive in the comments and i will see you next time i'm utah steve Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Bobby's your good boy. Bobby's your good boy. <laughs> and I got a text. What's the matter, Victor? Victor says hi, everybody. Victor, dude, you're in the way. This tripod makes me insane. Whoa, there you are. Okay, stop moving. Stop. Note to self, get a new tripod. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Nice change of clothes for tomorrow. So a couple pounds here and a pound here. So that's pretty cool.